Hello mga ka -Isip Math, it's me again Teacher Koy of Isip Math Tutorial and for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin yung week 7 ng ating grade 7 mathematics but before that, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so that you'll be updated on my videos and follow our Facebook page Isip Math Tutorial and join our Facebook group Deep in Teachers Files Okay So Our topic for this week Week 7 Is estimating Square roots And plotting Irrational numbers And once again This is for grade 7 mathematics Quarter 1 Week 7 Day 1 to 4 And I am using The milk base Learning activity sheets For the school year 2020-2021 Okay, so our objectives for this week, for day 1 and day 2, to estimate the square root of a number to the nearest hundred. And for day 3, to plot irrational numbers up to square roots on a number line. And for day 4, to estimate the square root of an irrational number given a point on the number line. Okay, so let's start for day 1. Steps to estimate the square root of a number that aren't perfect square. Since, pag hindi po sa perfect square, so it means yung square root ng isang number na hindi perfect square, ang result po niya ay meron sang decimal, di ba? Hindi siya whole number. Okay, so these are the steps. First, estimate, get as close as you can by finding two perfect square roots your number is between. So, ibig sabihin po niyan, pag binigyan ka ng, ang, ng isang square root, ng isang hindi perfect square, so it means maghanap ka lang ng dalawang perfect square na yung number na binigay na hindi perfect square ay nasa, nasa gitna, kumbaga in between. Okay? Then, second, divide. Divide your number by one of those square roots. Okay? So, alam naman natin kung paano po mag-divide, di ba? Using long division. And step 3, average. Take the result of step 2 and the root. And then for step 4, use the result in step 3 to repeat step 2 and 3 until you have the number that is accurate enough for you. So in this case, to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so we have here an example. Estimate the square root of a number to the nearest hundredth. So we have here square root of 10. Okay, so we know that 10 is not a perfect square. Diba? Okay, so solution. Find two perfect square numbers it lies between. So, maghanap po, na, maghanap po tayo ng dalawang numbers na perfect square. Na yung 10 po ay nasa gitna sa kanilang dalawa. So, for example, we have here 9. Okay, 9. So, 3 square. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, 9 is a perfect square. So, therefore, the square root of 9 is 3. And we have also 16. Diba? Kasi 4 square. So, 4 times 4 is 16. So, the square root of 16 is 4. So, therefore, 10 is between 9 and 16. Diba? So, therefore, the square root of 10 is between the square root of 9, which is 3, and the square root of 16, which is Four. So, nasa gitna yung square root ni 10, diba, kay 3 and 4, diba, kasi si 10 ay between 9 and 16, so the square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of four, uh, 16 is 4, so nasa gitna or in between ni 3 at saka ni 4 yung result if kunin natin yung square root ni 10, okay, so step 2, divide 10 by 3, okay, so 10 divide 3, the result is 3.33. So, using the long division, the result is 3.33. You can round off your answer. Okay. So, next, average. So, 3.33, the result, it, ito po yung result ng 10 divide 3. So, 3.33 and 3. So, since kunin natin yung average, so we, we will add 3.33 and 3. Tapos, divide 2. Diba? So, 3.33 plus 3. Divide 2 The result is 3.1667 So using the long division Ang result po ay 3.1667 
Then for step 4, repeat step 2. So, repeat yung step 2. But this time, yung 10 po natin ay, we will divide 10 by 3.1667. Okay? Result ng step 3. So, ang result po niyan ay 3, um, 31579. Diba? Okay. So, for step 5, repeat step 3. So, average. <clears throat> By the way, this is this is 3 point, ha? hindi po ito kama, 3.1579. Okay? So, for step 5, repeat step 3. So, kung ano yung ginawa ng step 3, yung average, i-repeat natin yun. Pero, this time, gagamitin, gagamitin natin yung result ng step 3, which is 3.1667. At saka result ni step 4, which is 3.1579. So, we will add this one and divide 2 kasi average yung kukunin natin. So, once we add this one, tapos divide 2, ang result ay 3.1623. Okay, so, is 3.1623 squared equal to 10? So, if we square 3.1623, ang result ba ay 10? <clears throat> okay, so, if we multiply 3.1623 by itself, so, 3.1623 squared or 3.1623 times 3.1623 the result is 10.001 okay so therefore the square root of 10 is estimated as 3.16 okay so kumbaga ni run off lang po natin yung 3.1623 so ginawa natin 3.16 okay so ito po yung result ng square root of 10 estimate po is 3.16 6. So, all you have to do is, ano lang, just follow the steps. Okay? Follow the steps para po makuha natin yung estimate ng square root ng isang hindi perfect square na number. Okay? So, let's continue. <clears throat> For D2, to estimate the square root of a number to the nearest hundred, follow the steps below. So, isa din tong uh, method na makuha natin yung estimate ng isang square root ng isang hindi perfect square na number. Okay, so for example, we have here square root of 141. So 141 is not a perfect square. So the principal root of 141 is between 11 and 12. Bakit between 11 and 12? Kasi yung pinaka nearest na dalawang perfect square na in between, kumbaga nasa gitna sa 141 is 121 and 144 because 121 is a perfect square. Square root of 121 is 11 and square root of 144 is 12. So, pag kinuha natin yung square root ng 141, so it means nasa gitna between 11 and 12. Okay, so the estimate, so the estimated root bit must be 11 point something. Diba? Kasi between 11 and 12. So, that is 11 point something. That, that, that. Okay? So, to find that something, we will use this formula. Gagaminit, gagaminit natin itong formula. Our formula is yung given number, which is 1 for 1. Diba? minus the lower perfect square. So, ano po yung lower per perfect square niya? Si 1 to 1. Diba? Then, over higher perfect square. Ano po yung higher perfect square after kay 1 for 1? Si 1 for 4. Diba? Then, minus lower perfect square, which is 1 to 1. Substitute. Ito na po siya. 1 for 1 minus 1 to 1 divided by 1 for 4 minus 1 to 1. So, 1 for 1 minus 1 to 1 is 20. Then, 144 minus 121 or 121 is 23. So, if we divide 20, uh, so 20 over 23 or 20 divided by 23 is approximately equivalent to 0 0.8695. Okay. So, rounding off to the nearest hundredth, it will be 0 0.87. So, adding this to 11. So, ito pong nakuha natin. I-add natin to ka 11. So, magiging 11 plus 0 0.87 ang result ay 11.87 so that is the estimated square root of 141 okay so ito po yung pangalawang method yung first method yung kanina di ba then second method is ito using this formula so ang sikreto nito is marunong kang maglong division okay dito pa rin tayo another example we have here square root of 34 Square root of 34 is not uh, 34 is not a perfect square. Okay, so ano po ba yung 
perfect square numbers na dalawang perfect square na nasa gitna si 34. Okay, so, si 25 and 36. Diba? The square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 36 is 6. So, therefore, ang square root of 34 ay between 5 and 6. So, that is 5 point something. Okay? So, to find that something, we will use the formula. Okay, given number minus lower perfect square over higher perfect square minus lower perfect square. So, ito po yung given number po natin. 34 minus lower perfect square which is 25. The result is 9. Then, over higher perfect square which is 36 minus lower perfect square which is 35. This is not 35 ha. This is, meron po tayong correction nito. This is 25. Okay, so this is 25. This is not 35. So, the result is 11. So, 9 divided by 11 using the long division. Ang approximate equivalent niya ay 0.8181. So, i-round off po natin to the nearest hundred. Kasi kasunod ni 1 is 8. That's more than 5. So, add tayo ng isa dito kay 1. So, okay. So, we will add this 1 to 5. Because the square of 34 is 5 point something between 5 and 6. So, 5 plus 0.82. The result is 5 point 82. So, this is the estimated square root of 34. Okay. So, ganyan lang po. Dapat marunong kang maglong division. Okay. So, for day 3. Day 3 is to locate and plot the square root on the number line. So, we will study this example. Ito po yung mga example po natin. We have A square root of 3, B square root of 21, and C square root of 87. So, we will plot this one, the result of the square roots. I-plot po natin sa number line. Alam naman po natin na yung number line ay yung origin niya ay 0. Diba? Papuntang right are all positive numbers at tapos papuntang left are all negative numbers. Okay, so square root of 3. So, this number is between 1 and 2. So, pag kinuha natin yung square root of 3 using your calculator or the manual, ang result po niya ay between 1 and 2. So, that's something point dot, a one point dot, dot, dot. Okay? So, si 1 is the principal roots of 1. Di ba? Kasi square root of 1 is 1. And, The square root of 4 is 2. Okay? So, since square root of 3 is closer to 4 than to 1, so, ibig sabihin po nito ay yung result na square root of 3 ay mas mas malapit sa kay 2, which is the square root of 4, kaysa, kaysa, kaysa kay 1. So, it means we will plot closer to 2. Okay? So, ito po yung nasa number line. Kaya, andito po si square root of 3, malapit kay 2. Kasi if we get the square root of 3, that is 1 point something, malapit na kay 2. So, if we plot that 1, dito po, malapit kay 2. Okay, so ganyan lang po, pag plot ng square root, okay, ng isang hindi perfect square, dun sa number line. Okay, so, for letter B, we have here square root of 21. This number is between 4 and 5. Diba, kasi yung pinakamalapit na square root ni 21 ay si 16 at saka si 25. So, 4 is the square root of 16 and 5 is the square root of 25. So, since square root of 21 is closer to 25, di ba? Mas malapit si square root of 21 kay 25. So, we will plot square root of 21 closer to 5. Saan galing si 5? 5 is the square root of 25. Okay? So, ito po siya. Ito po si 5. Ito po si 4 which is the square root of 16. So, square root of 21 is malapit kay 25. Because if we get the square root of 21, that is 4 point something, which is almost 5 na. Diba? So, i-plot natin siya doon malapit kay 5. Okay. So, for letter C. Letter C is square root of 87. So, this number is between 9 and 10. Kasi ang result ng square root of 87 is between 9 and 10. So, that is 9 point something. And 9... 9 is the square root of 81, di ba? And 10 is the square root of 100. So, since square root of 87 is closer to 81, di ba? Mas malapit kasi sa 87 kay 81. So, we will plot square root of 87 malapit doon kay 9, which is 9 is the square root of 81, di ba? So, ito po sa yung square root of 87 malapit kay 9. Okay? Okay. Ginawa natin to or nilagay natin malapit kay 9 kasi si 87 ay malapit kay 81. E compare to 87 to 100, di ba? Mas malayo siya. So, nilagay natin siya doon malapit kay 9 which is the square root of 81. Okay. So, let's go to day 
locating irrational numbers and a number line. Okay, locate natin yung irrational numbers doon sa number line. So, place the following irrational numbers on the number line. We have here square root of 37, square root of 56, and square root of 24. So, ito po sila ay hindi po sila perfect square. Di ba? Okay, so first, make a quick one decimal place approximation of each. Okay, so, yung pinakamalapit kaya 36, ano, I mean, yung pinakamalapit kaya 37 is 36. Di ba? So, the square root of 36 is 6. So, since 37 sa, hindi sa perfect square, so it means over 36, uh, more than 36 sa, so it means more than 6, so that is 6.1. Okay, since 37 is just over 36, uh, kasi square root of 36 is 6. So, over 36 kasi si 37, so therefore, the square root of 37 is 6 point something, more than the square root of 36. Okay, so estimate lang po to, so, est est the estimated square root of 37 is 6.1. Okay, so for 56, the square root of 56 is 7.5. Kasi since 56 is about halfway between the perfect square 49 and 64. Diba? So the square root of 49 is 7. And the square root of 64 is 8. So therefore, nasa gitna si square root of 56. So more than the square root of 49. Which is 7. So more than 7. So that is 7.5. Estimate. Then for square root of 24, Since 4.9 is ah uh, okay 4.9 since 24 is just under 25 so ang pinakamalapit kay 24 is the square root of 25 the square root of 25 is 5 di ba so therefore si 24 ay before kay 25 so it means ang square root ni 24 ay 4. Point something so let's say that's 4.9 estimate 4.9 okay so <clears throat> ating i-plot dito sa number line so ito na po siya Unahin natin si square root of 37 which is 6.1. So, 6.1, andito po si 6. Diba? So, 6.1, dito siya. Diba? Kaya ito si 6.5, tapos ito si 7. So, 6, 7, yung kita 6.5. So, therefore, dito si 6.1. Okay? And then for square root of 56, 7.5. Saan si 7? Ito si 7. Si 8. So, 7.5. So, between 7 and 8. So, ito po si 7.5. And for... Square root of 24, which is 4.9. Where is 4.9? So, ito po si 5. Square root of 25 is 5. Ito po si 4.5. Ito po si 4. So, 4.9 is almost 5. And dito po siya, 4.9. Okay? So, ganyan lang po pag-plot ng isang uh, irrational number doon sa number na locate po natin sila. Okay? So, I hope nag-gets nyo po yung um, uh, short lesson po natin. And once again, it's me, Teacher Koy of Easy Tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you on my next video.